This is Crew is tuning up, so to speak. The boiler is hot, the pressure is up, and the men of the Ryan family are ready to go caroling. Marlon Ryan, the senior steam whistle master, his son Don Ryan, and his son Mark, playing the old factory whistle atop the New York Wire Company in York, Pennsylvania. A steam whistle so loud it can be heard five, even ten miles away. The New York Wire Company makes screens. The old factory whistle that once called people to work and sent them to lunch has long since been replaced by buzzers and bells. For 61 years, the whistle has played Christmas carols. Marlon Ryan has been the music maker for 35 of those years. The sound is uh, tremendously loud. You have a feeling that you have something in your hand that is, is powerful and loud. It is so loud that the dogs howl. People stop their cars. At one nearby church, the midnight mass is celebrated in silence. There's no competing with this whistle. A number of people uh, tell me that they have children that are living uh, uh, out of Pennsylvania, uh, all over the United States, and uh, different uh, children will call home, or they'll call their children at the time we're ready to play our Christmas carols, and they'll open the window and let them hear the uh, Christmas carols over the telephone. You may have noticed the hard hats. This is tough work. Jam nuts sometimes uh, vibrate loose and drop down, and, and uh, sometimes they, the nuts hit us on the head, and, and uh, of course then we have to stop. And Pause to fix something, of course, but no stopping for good. When, eight years ago, the boiler wasn't safe and the whistle was silent, the calls and letters poured in, and the company spent thousands to keep this extraordinary Christmas sound alive. Jed Duval reporting for CNN.